Howdy. I wanted to make a document because it's important to me to record some of these experiences I'm having. And now seems like a good time. rainbow finished and everyone left except for me and I couldn't just pick up and leave my little house it's uh, too comfortable <laughs> I think traveling for more than six years without having my own home base has given me a strong desire to have some kind of base and right now this is it I feel comfortable here, I have everything I need, and um, yeah, it feels good. I'm processing a lot right now, I'm going through all the feelings, taking kind of inventory of myself and my experiences and relationships with other people. And it can be difficult. I'm a social guy. I like to be around people. I like to be in the middle of things. I want to know what's going on. And here is not so easy for uh, someone maybe who's not used to living like this it can be really challenging drinking water from stream it's not treated it's not fluoridated it doesn't have any chemicals in it it gets dirty if it rains and uh, pooping in a hole in the ground some people don't like that I enjoy it I think when I when I put my waste back into nature where it can be composted and reused by the plants and that feels much better than to poop and drinking water and put a bunch of chemicals in it later to clean it and cooking by the fire is more slow than with the conventional stove but I really find it rewarding to make a small fire and generate a lot of heat from the dead wood that I find everywhere around here and uh, it's not even that cold really these days are about 25 degrees celsius in the day and around 11 celsius at night and if I need to I have a big stone I can heat up with the fire and then when I go to sleep I can put it inside with me and in fact, a few nights I was too warm, even in my sleeping bag, and I had to open it up. And it's already November. So it's a beautiful place. And uh, this remote quality is really charming to me. It takes about 25 or 30 minutes walking from any direction to get here for any person. So I'm basically a half hour walk from anyone. But you know, it's funny because now that everyone has left, I get more concerned about maybe someone coming and what will I do, what will I say to some Albanian locals. But people here, they tend to keep to themselves and they're not so nosy. I like that. I can see some fishermen coming by sometimes or people picking the olives up in the terraces. So far, no one's really come to bother me about what I'm doing here and what am I doing here I think I'm doing a kind of research I mean I'm doing research research into a lot of things I'm doing research into what does it what what are the basic things a person needs to survive I'm doing research in living in nature 
I'm doing research in squatting. I'm doing research in aloneness. Being in this environment has taught me to watch the stars and watch the moon and watch the sun, watch the waves, watch the wind, watch the animals, the insects, and to watch myself. I think I'm learning to be more observant in this situation. And also more appreciative of all of the connections that I've made with people. And when I'm feeling too much alone, I can go and find people somewhere to be around. Or I can go on the internet and send some messages, talk to someone. And it's not really boring ever because there's so many little projects. I sit here, my morning routine is to sit here and have a coffee and look at the sea and look around the little things I can do to improve this place to make it more comfortable. You know, there's there's wood mission I need to gather and cut wood for the times that I need it. Cleaning, you know, it's dirty. Look at me, I'm I'm, I'm pretty filthy, but I feel very clean. You know, uh, being covered with the natural dust and dirt seems to me more clean than bathing in a bunch of chemical products and living in a crowded city. Anyway, I can bathe anytime I want in the stream, is very beautiful, and also in the sea. And, uh, Yeah, I don't really notice being dirty until I go in contact with uh, society and then suddenly I, oh, I am stinking or oh, I'm covered with soot and ashes and mud and my feet, you know, I mean, my, my feet, I'm walking barefoot a lot and I've got all these wounds. I got wounds on my body, these small wounds, but I don't feel like I need to go to any hospital about it. I feel healthy, I feel strong. I'm glad to find this place and to make my own home here. And how long will I stay here? I don't know. Will I receive any guests? Maybe. Maybe I'll stay for a long time. Or not. What I like about being in Albania is that I can stay for one year without making any papers, so it gives me breathing room. It's a good place to reset. I was listening to some recordings earlier today from Macedonia when I was making some street music with Peria and uh, I think Michael also. There's some good moments there. And uh, I'd like to use this time to develop a little bit more my musical endeavors. I don't have electricity around, so it's difficult to use a laptop in this environment. But if I want to take it to a cafe, I can walk half an hour, plug in, have Wi-Fi, a desk. We'll see what I do. I don't have a big plan, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, and I miss my family a lot. I really do. And, uh, you know, I, I hope they don't feel like I abandoned them because I really would love to spend some time with, with especially my nieces and nephew and my sisters and husbands and mother and father, and grandmothers, aunts and uncles. I haven't seen any of them for a very long time. But because of the way I'm traveling, the way I'm living, it's really difficult for me to imagine going back to USA and continuing like this, and uh, really like to live like this. 
uh, and I think it's funny that I always thought I was born in the land of the free, but uh, I found my real true freedom when I left there. Um, mainly also, mainly the freedom of my mind, and also the freedom to live like this. I think most places in the USA, if I would be living like this, there would already be some police officer questioning what I'm doing. Here no one cares. And, uh, yeah, I wish everyone to have this freedom to live simply. I mean, I've been camping here for more than two months and I think I've spent less than 200 euros on all of my expenses and some of those expenses have been frivolous ones you know things not necessary so I mean wow for like a hundred euros a month you can live very good I don't even need to spend any money, I could probably dumpster buy everything I needed almost. And uh, but I don't need to do that right now. Because I have a lot of food and <laughs> I'd rather spend my time here relaxing than digging through the dumpsters at this time. But more power to that, as you know. <laughs> I really enjoy that. But I have recycled a lot of things. Like uh Tarps and blankets and crates, water bottles, cooking equipment. Um, it's a good simple life. I started reading Walden by Henry David Thoreau. And when you read that in school, they kind of don't really make it appealing. But now that I'm living in my own small place, and reading Walden and all of his criticisms about the futility of all of these expenses uh, to keep up with fashion, furniture, all these unnecessary things, I'm like right on page with him. And I think maybe instead of teaching Walden in school as a book, they could make a whole semester of living Walden. I think that would bring people to a more deep understanding of what Thoreau was talking about but I also know that forcing anyone to do anything isn't cool and that's why education has been something I stepped back from at least conventional education I think that uh, a person can self-educate and they can listen inside and find out the things they need to do like right now I'm learning a lot about how to make a shelter safe from rainstorms and heavy winds. I wouldn't really care about that information if it wasn't necessary for my survival. And uh, survival is a real driver of creativity and, and uh, innovation and evolution. So being in this kind of survival state has been beneficial to developing my creativity as a living being. That's the update.